What's y'all? I got to speak on this because I don't know why Joe Budden would do this. Like sometimes when you have a history of a certain thing. It's probably not as wise for you to be the one to speak up on it, especially when it's kind of like an unprovoked, it seems like, conversation. So Joe Biden's getting a lot of backlash, obviously, by the feminine Instagram shade room. They were talking like that type of crowd because he got on the back of uh, back, back talk, fuel talk, I don't know, back talk, fuel talk podcast um, with the guys who used to be with Matt Hoffa. And they're discussing men's point of view with domestic violence. Let's take a listen. It's in a domestic, <laughs> domestic, violence, for sure. a domestic violence relationship. But we men, so we don't know that. Mm -hmm. We don't know that mm -hmm. if somebody just get up and start, hey, I didn't like, hey, you got a text I didn't like, I'm burning all your clothes. That's domestic violence. Yup. Mm -hmm. yup. I was, so when I attempt to stop you from burning my mm -hmm. clothes, and I hurt your wrist by mistake, <laughs> and back. you say, oh, sh it's like, now you got, it's something new to defend, but what we don't know as men is, is we get abused yeah. all the time. And it's and not really a because, to have but what's crazy oh. Now, like I said for Joe Budden, I agree with what he's saying. If a woman attempts to break your shit and you just try to stop them, and you gotta think about it, like this be logical here. Whenever somebody's trying to violently destroy your stuff and do whatever you might have to be a little bit more physical with them so if you grab a woman they're gonna feel like you're forced right so i get what he's saying but the thing for joe is he's he's we know joe's a smart guy he gotta know the things that you're accused of in regards in regards to domestic violence is not just i was in there trying to tear joe should he grabbed me and he hurt my wrist it ain't no these women talking about getting stomped on. Obviously, we Esther Baxter with the, the miscarriage sitting on her stomach while she's praying. Like, you got deep rooty shit, not just basic level shit a regular nigga might go through. Your girlfriend saw somebody text you, she try to grab your phone and throw you, grab her, and oh, my, my wrist hurt. Like, it ain't like that. So I don't even know why he would even go out on a limb to really have a serious discussion about this. I don't understand it. I see people do it all the time. Like, I don't think if... Like, maybe Joe Biden really thinks he's, like, a great narrative shifter. That he'll be able to, to, to shift the view on him in a different light. And I just don't see why he would think that. I had an incident one time where me and a lady broke up, and I took the phone back that I bought and was actively paying the bill on. Charges. Charges brought up. So you stole the phone. There you go. Yeah. I like didn't know. I didn't know that. Grand larceny. I learned. You just that. gotta cut it off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know that you can't take the phone. I you gotta learned, cut it off. but mm -hmm. I didn't know that. So that's that was a lesson. It's like, oh, okay. If now we'll say there is a bigger conversation within this for men. I think once again, even if the message is is somewhat you know relatable, the message is a good one to get put out there. Everybody's always gonna go back to who the messenger is and be like. Nigga, you can't talk about this. Now, I'm not saying he can't talk about it. He can talk about it. He just has to know when he does talk about it, it's going to be perceived and looked at in a certain way. And a lot of people who you talk to, especially women, because women don't want to, women really don't want to hear that the shit they be doing is abuse. They don't want to hear that. They want to hear, you're the man, whatever I do to you, I can do to you. And when you retaliate, whenever you retaliate, you're bad. Like even for Joe's circumstance, right? His ex to hear it. We literally saw her on the show launch an apple at her dude in the show's head. Like, that's domestic violence. Because, obviously, if a guy threw an apple at a girl's head, we're going to be all in shock and awe and be like, this is the worst guy ever. Get him out of here. Send him to prison, right? But she does things like that. And it's, she's still like, damn, that bitch is crazy. But it's not to the level of, oh, we need to get her out of here. She needs to be canceled. She can never speak on abuse. Because when she speaks out against Joe, you don't really see that. You see, like, a lot of men. Like, even I mean, like, bitch, you threw apples at niggas. You beat on people. Like, what are you talking about? But it never sticks the same because women will always be perceived differently in a domestic dispute differently like i said a guy could get slapped hit over the head with a bat punched elbow he do one little mush abuser the what like that's how it is and men just got to realize that now like i said it is a sticky situation with the situation he brought up a woman's destroying your property what do you do i grab her in her thrusting around i might grab her and hurt her look what happened to, look what happened to jonathan major jonathan major got charge if you really read it because when he grabbed the lady she got hurt so him trying to prevent her from assaulting him and she got hurt in that process 
he got charged with. Even though we saw him actively running away from the woman after that took place. But the fact that he harmed her in the car, trying to restrain her, he got charged. And I think that's what Joe's talking about. Because that thing is very real. And we saw it happen with John the Majors. Now, he didn't get a felony. He didn't go to prison. He didn't go whatever. But, like, he lost a lot. He was the new villain for Marvel. Whatever Thanos was, I'm not saying Kang would have been there, but he was that. And he lost it. Because he grabbed the woman when she was attacking him. Now, I tell you, I correct me if I'm wrong. This is what I remember reading. He got charged with that. So, yeah, it is, it is like the, the, the conversation is a good one. Is, I'll be thinking Joe is, should, would be smart enough to know, like, nigga, you probably ain't the one that really had that conversation. Especially because, like, when you hear the abuse is alleged of Joe Budden, it's not just, oh, girl, try to rip my shot, grab the wrist. It's stomping, drag me from the car all the way to the house. Like, it's different type of shit. Now, is it all true? Who knows? But that's just what's out there about him. So, it's kind of hard to hear him talk about it and be like, nigga, we go, come on. You just grab, they burnt the shit and you grab the wrist. Like, come on, stop it. But, um, but yeah, I think, I think it is a good message for men to try to navigate and figure out when they're in a domestic violence dispute. Or something. Most men are never going to be like, yeah, I'm in a domestic violence thing because as a man, you're not, not going to do that. Like, yeah, I'm a, I mean, domestically abused by my woman. You ain't going to say that. I'm like, I'm not going to figure it out. You just, like, a, lot of, a lot of niggas who are in domestic violence relationships, you know what they call that girl? They just call her crazy. Oh, she's crazy. Don't worry about it, bro. She's crazy. But she thumping you over the head every night. She's scratching you, slapping you, all kind of shit. And you just, a lot of guys, I think it's a lot of guys sit there and take it. They get their ass whooped. Like, fuck it. Because I know if I do anything, any little retaliation, then my whole life could turn upside down. Cops come, arrest me. I got domestic violence, the domestic abuser on my jacket. And I'm, I'm P. Diddy now. And all I, y'all ain't see all a million times I got slapped, crawl, uh, clawed, plunked over the head, shit, bro. Y'all ain't see none of that. Y'all just saw when I reacted. And that's how it is. And that's the, really the message. Men, it don't matter how much shit people shit get done to you. When you react, that's when the shit turns to DV. It ain't really DV when a girl do it. Let's be honest. That's how it is, but that's how the world look at it. It's not. So, yeah, salute to Joe. <clears throat> um, let me know what y'all think about it, the whole conversation. Do y'all think Joe, um, like I said, it's, 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 he's right, what he's saying. And what he's saying is correct. It's just, and I'm not even mad at him giving a message. I'm not mad at him giving a message. I know the people out there, are not going to receive his message. I can just, I can you just see it. I mean, these are a bunch of women, but still, it's, you know, it's never, the, it's never their fault. This man literally killed his unborn by sitting on a pregnant ex, and this is why we call you abuser because you are burning clothes versus putting your hands on someone that's totally different. You can don't put your hands on women for whatever reason. See up now. See, with this, I don't agree with this because like, <clears throat> what he said. See, what, what she's, she's once again she's mis misconstruing what he said and what she's talking about. He said, "What do you do if somebody's burning your belongings?" Let's say you have 10 pairs of Jordans that are $200 each. That's $2,000 worth of shit. You got clothes, Nike, tracks, whatever. Let's say that's an extra $3,000. You got $5,000 worth of clothes in your thing. And a woman's burning them. Are you supposed to sit there? What can I do but restrain her and grab her? So, but this is what I'm saying. And there's a thousand people that like this. So they will never really truly be on the side of what the man is looking at because if I, if I as a man was to start burning, you know, Gucci purses, whatever, they'll, they'll understand quickly the need to put hands on this person to, to stop them from burning they shit up. Well, as a man, they can't even understand it. Why would you, someone burning your shit, you, what are you supposed to do? But just sit there. You never should, uh, to, to, to any type of physical contact with them. Because he didn't say violently. He just said, I'm grabbing her and her wrist got hurt. But like I said, this, this is the type of messaging you'll see. A man that stepped on his girlfriend's stomach, that's the Baxter. Joe speaking on, you just see it. That's not DV, that's vandalism. See, even that, that's vandalism. That's vandalism. Burning my clothes is just vandalism? Come on. And then, see, this one, this one, now I, I ain't saying I agree with this, but she said, can any woman tell me why it's okay for us to hit and assault men, but it's not okay for them to hit us back? Now, I don't agree with hitting a woman back. Unless she's like truly beating the shit out like she has a weapon, then by all means, I'm sorry. If a woman has a weapon, a bat, a knife, or whatever, and you have to put her down, put her down. So that, at that point, it just becomes about survival at the end of the day. So, yeah, see, 
See, some of the women get it. See, this is why men don't share. Tahiri was abusive on live TV, and y'all dismiss it, right? But this is the main one. He beat a baby out of his ex. Please, let's stop this act like he's innocent. But I think the thing, too, with Joe is that happened. And he even admitted to him. Basically, he said, oh, I didn't sit on her chest. I said below her chest, whatever. It was just close to the baby, so it's still crazy. But that one incident will forbid you from talking about any type of abuse you probably suffered after that. So, yeah. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. See you guys next one. I'm out.